Hey guys, what is up? Today I've got a awesome Facebook hack for you, and we're gonna go into Facebook advanced interest targeting. And what's so awesome about this Facebook advanced interest targeting, you might ask? Well, you are going to be able to target interests and sub niches that 90% of other Facebook advertisers have no idea even exist. Think about it. You're gonna be able to reach people in your niche that your competitors are not going to be able to. And what's even more awesome about this is you're going to be able to do it cheaper. What's the best about this is we are actually getting our data from Facebook itself. After you watch this video, you're going to be able to give Facebook your keyword or your niche and Facebook's going to give you back hundreds. Yes, you heard me right. Hundreds of interests related to your industry. So without any further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so here we go. First thing we need to do is we need to access an API token. And how we do that is we run over to developers.facebook.com forward slash apps. And after you've generated an API token, you're going to copy and paste this URL here and erase where it says paste your token here and you're going to paste your token there. Hope you guys are tracking along and we're going to jump into my computer and I'm going to show you exactly how this looks and smells so you can replicate it and do it yourself. All right, as you can see, we are at developers.facebook.com forward slash apps and a window here is going to pop up to create an app ID. Okay, you're going to all you got to do is enter your display name, contact emails, your email associated with your Facebook account. Guys, don't overthink any of this thing. Your display name could literally be absolutely anything and for this example i'm going to just give a display name of youtube because we're making a youtube video all right so once your id is created we're going to hop over and get our api token because that is what we're at all right so we are going to head over to our graph api explorer so we can copy our api key which is down here at the right hand side there's even a button that says copy token all right guys real quick tip here before we go further these tokens do expire so don't try to do this and then stop and then three days later try to pick it back up because these tokens will be expired back to our regular scheduled program all right now we need to get our url which is right here and cut we're going to copy and paste it this will be down in the links in the description below if you're watching this on youtube all right, now all we are going to do is paste that little magical URL above here, and we're going to come down here, copy our token. All right, we see this equal sign where it says paste your access token here. That, my friend, we are going to erase, and then we are going to control V our access token, hit enter. All right, now, whoa, whoa, hold on. Before we go any further, I want to explain a couple things here in the URL so this makes a little bit of sense to you. All right, so we're at graphfacebook.com. We are performing a search, okay? And our search is our ad interest. Inside of these brackets here where it says insurance is where our seed keyword or our niche in or industry would go. Right here, we're using insurance for this example. But you could use business, you could use cats, you could, I mean, absolute anything, sky is the limit. This is where you would play around with this and, and have a really good time. We set our limit to 10,000 search results, and blah, 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 we're good. All right, so let's go through here and here and sh sh get the fruits of our labor, <laughs> all right? So we have travel insurance, okay, which is an additional uh, interest, additional interest, okay? What I also like about these is it gives you the interest but it also kind of gives you the subsection of it so you know if it's a business or if it's an interest or if it's a person or whatever and as we go through these I don't know if you can see my uh, my scroll uh, bar here but I mean this thing goes on for absolute ever okay so we've got state farm insurance uh, which is in a business and industry local business home insurance we had MetLife uh, which is an additional in uh, additional interest excuse me uh, business consultant, insurance broker, uh, we have Liberty Mutual, insurance policy, insurance group, insurance agent, term life insurance, blah, blah. You guys see where this goes, okay? And it just keeps going and 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 going. 
And going and going and going and going and going and going and going. Long term health care, we have just health insurance, great ER group. Um, I mean, like, keeps going. Let's play with our seed keyword here and see if we can find something else. So let's change our insurance and let's change it to, let's say, business. All right. Let's see what we get there. All right, business and industry, business uh, management, which uh, news and entertainment, uh, small business. We have distribution. We have uh, order, which is an additional interest of the business, apparently. Show business, uh, business insider. Uh, subscription business model. I didn't even know that's an interest. That's kind of crazy. Call center. What? All right, uh, apparently. Uh, business to business, uh, business school, master of business administration. You guys see where this is going. Update it into an Excel sheet, play around with it, get some awesome, awesome Facebook targeting. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up and a subscription. Subscribe. Uh, if you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment down below. I hope you got some kick ass value out of this. Best of luck to you.